Have you ever dreamed you could travel faster than the speed of light? Imagine flying through the skies at incredible speeds, where cities blur and countries are crossed in minutes. This isn't just a superhero fantasy, it's the inspiring possibility of hypersonic flight. A realm where time and distance dissolve, revealing a world of incredible possibilities. Don't miss out on our journey of discovery. If you're inspired by the exciting world of cutting-edge aviation and groundbreaking technologies, join our community of fans by clicking the subscribe button. The SR-72, also known as the Son of Blackbird, is a hypersonic vehicle that builds upon the success of the SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-72 seeks to break through these barriers and reach speeds that were previously thought to be unachievable. In contrast to the SR-71, which redefined speed in its day. This aircraft promises to surpass the legendary feats of its predecessor, and it represents a giant leap into a future where hypersonic flight changes our perception of time and distance. Not only is the SR-72 a faster aircraft, but it also marks the beginning of a new era in aviation, one in which the amazing speeds that were only seen in science fiction are now a breathtaking reality. The SR-71 Blackbird, an aeronautical engineering icon, redefined the limits of speed and stealth. It was developed in the 1960s and served as a critical reconnaissance aircraft during the Cold War, capable of avoiding threats thanks to its legendary Mach 3 Plus speeds. Its achievements are infamous, having set numerous speed and altitude records, some of which remain unbroken to this day. The advanced design of the Blackbird, which featured innovative materials and technologies, was an engineering marvel of its time, laying the foundation for future aerospace advancements. Traveling at five times the speed of sound, Mach 5 or faster, represents a quantum leap in aviation technology. This realm, which is beyond the capabilities of traditional jet engines, requires cutting-edge propulsion systems and materials that can withstand extreme temperatures and pressures. The hypersonic flight has sparked a global aviation race with major powers heavily investing in R&D. The United States, Russia, and China are leading the charge, each attempting to capitalize on the strategic and military benefits of hypersonic capabilities. However, developing hypersonic flight comes with challenges. The extreme temperature generated at these speeds requires the use of materials that can withstand temperatures hot enough to melt standard metals. Aerodynamic stability and control at Mach 5 Plus are also major engineering challenges. Overcoming these challenges is a step toward revolutionizing global travel and reshaping the future of aerospace, not just a matter of national pride or military advantage. The SR-72, also known as the Son of Blackbird, first came to public attention through exciting news and speculative reports. The legendary division behind the original SR-71, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, stated at developing a successor capable of hypersonic speeds. However, after these initial reports, the project remained classified, leading to high speculation and rumors in the aerospace community. However, recent developments and leaks reveal that the SR-72 is more than just a concept. Patents for new propulsion systems, as well as reports of unknown aircraft similar to the SR-72's proposed design, have brought back excitement and speculation about its upcoming release. These hands point to a future in which the SR-72 is transformed from a pipe dream into a real game-changing aircraft. The SR-72 is expected to be a technological marvel, incorporating advanced materials and design features to achieve hypersonic capabilities. It is rumored that its design will include a sleek, aerodynamic frame capable of minimizing drag and withstanding the intense heat of hypersonic travel. The plane is expected to reach Mach 6, effectively doubling the speed of its predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-72's propulsion system is one of the most significant improvements over the SR-71. The SR-72 is expected to use a turbine-based combined cycle engine, which combines a traditional jet turbine and a scramjet engine to operate efficiently at a wide range of speeds and altitudes. This novel propulsion system is critical to achieving and maintaining hypersonic flight. When comparing the SR-71 and SR-72, the latter represents a technological leap, reflecting decades of advancements in material science, aerodynamics, and propulsion systems. The SR-72 is poised to push the boundaries of aerial reconnaissance and high-speed travel, carrying on the legacy of its legendary forefather while charting new ground in aviation history. Lockheed Martin's secretive development program, Skunk Works, has a long history of pioneering aviation technology, 
from the U-2 spy plane to the stealthy F-117 Nighthawk. Their legacy is marked by innovation and daring engineering, and their role in the development of the SR-72 is critical. Their expertise in advanced aerospace design and propulsion systems is critical in overcoming hypersonic flight's formidable technical challenges. Moving on to the engine revolution, the transition to hypersonic speeds necessitates a break from traditional jet engines. This revolutionary shift is represented by the proposed turbine-based combined cycle engines for the SR-72, which combine a turbojet for lower speeds and a scramjet for hypersonic speeds. This allows for efficient operation over a wide speed range. These engines have enormous potential, promising to enable sustained hypersonic flight. But the technical challenges are equally daunting. Materials, cooling systems, and fuel efficiency innovations are required to realize this potential. Hypersonic flight has significant strategic importance in modern warfare, providing unprecedented speed and agility on the battlefield. This capability has the potential to completely change military tactics and global defense strategies, making traditional air defenses outdated. The race for hypersonic technology has also heightened. When it comes to the future of air travel, commercial hypersonic flight entices with the promise of drastically reduced travel times. This vision, however, faces significant challenges, including high costs, safety concerns, and the enormous technical challenges of making hypersonic travel viable for passengers. Furthermore, the environmental impact of such high-speed travel is a major concern. Sustainable fuel advancements and emission reductions are required to make hypersonic air travel a responsible and feasible future option. The hypersonic technology of the SR-72 is more than just a step forward in aviation. It is also a gateway to advanced space exploration. Hypersonic speeds are an important step towards space travel because they provide insights into high-speed aerodynamics and propulsion systems that could be adapted for spacecraft. Collaborations with space are a possibility. The public's interest with hypersonic flights and the mystery surrounding its development has resulted in a mix of skepticism and awe in the media coverage surrounding the SR-72. It's important to distinguish clearly between fact and fiction because this interest frequently gives rise to myths and misconceptions about the capabilities and intended use of the aircraft. The public's fascination with the SR-72's development underscores the human fascination with pushing the envelope of flight. Different countries have responded differently to the SR-72. While some consider it a major development in aerospace technology, others fear it poses a threat to international security. The development of the SR-72 has diplomatic ramifications that affect global politics and defense plans. For the world to remain stable and trustworthy, security concerns must be addressed and assurances regarding the aircraft's intended use must be given. Gaining proficiency in this field requires an understanding of the physics of hypersonic travel. The behavior of air changes at such high speeds, impacting heat management and aerodynamics. The aircraft must endure extreme heat produced by air friction, which makes the thermal challenges significant. This makes the creation of novel materials and cutting-edge cooling techniques necessary for the structural stability and security of hypersonic aircraft. The testing procedure for the SR-72 pushes the limits of existing aerospace testing techniques by combining state-of-the-art simulation with real-world trials. Tracing the SR-72's development from early prototypes to the present day tells a story of technological achievements and setbacks. Future test plans for the SR-72 are aimed at improving its performance and resolving any issues so that it is prepared for operational deployment. Regarding the international scene, the SR-72 is a noteworthy achievement in U.S. hypersonic technology. It is not, however, the only one in this race. Other countries like China and Russia are also advancing hypersonic development, each with their own method and accomplishments. This global effort is a mix of cooperation and competition as countries balance shared scientific progress with national security interests. The SR-72 has become an icon of innovative technology in movies and other media, capturing the public's imagination. Beyond just aviation fans, it inspires a larger audience and shapes the general public's opinion of next-generation aircraft. The media's role is critical in this context because it shapes public perceptions of such cutting-edge technology in addition to providing information. What is out there on the SR-72? The never-ending search for aerospace innovation is fueled by this query. 
The future of aviation lies not only in speeding up, but also incorporating innovative ideas and technologies that have the potential to completely transform aerospace exploration and air travel. Pushing the boundaries of aviation technology and having bigger dreams are key components of the journey beyond the SR-72.